All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Technosynth, and welcome to my 100 subscriber special. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I might have to do this recording a couple times, but uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, welcome to the 100 subscriber special. Uh, you might be wondering what I'm doing here in Terraria instead of in front of the camera. Um, to be honest, like I don't have that great of a camera. Like the update video that I did was with my web camera, and it wasn't that great. I don't have great lighting, and I thought. You know why not? Why not do something interactive? You'll 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 kind of see what I'm going with over here. But um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get into this thing. 100 subscriber special. We'll we'll equip the more monster for fun because we can. Because we can. All right, let's start with the questions. And we're going to start with uh, Blatty Meow's questions. Every level um, that you can see in this room. Or in this, uh, yeah, in this section, every level is like one person's questions. I I might have I put multiple questions on uh, you know one sign here and there, depending on if it got like too crazy and ridiculous, like too many too many questions to be able to fit the room because I kind of just made this room on a whim. So, all right, yep. Gladi Meow's questions. Let's let's go. Let's start firing away. Why start LP? Why start LPing? That's, uh, that's a pretty good question. Why start LPing? I, um, it's kind of what everyone else does. You know, they see someone LPing, and uh, after a while they're like, hey, you know, I can do this too. And um, my main inspiration, I guess you could say, if you couldn't tell um, by by my LPs and stuff, is uh, Seamus, S-S-O-H-P-K-C. Um, you know, I'd seen people do Let's Plays before, but I was never really thoroughly entertained, I guess, until I really saw, um, saw his stuff. I saw, um, what was the first video that I saw from Seamus? I think it was Kaizo 2. It was Kaizo 2, and that was, uh, yeah, the rest is history from there. Um, why did I start LPing? Pretty much because I thought I could do it, um, you know, not necessarily better or anything, but I just thought, hey, you know, this is something I could do. It's something that I probably would enjoy doing. And I have enjoyed doing so far for the past couple of months, ever since uh, I started in in December of last year. So it's been uh, it's been pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so here we go. Um, when I put in the answers for my... The signs, they're going to be concise, I guess, um, because I can't ramble on in a sign like I could here. So why start LPing? Man, I can't type today. <laughs> Look at that. Why start LPing? Because I saw others doing so and I thought I could as well. Alright. On to the next one. Question number two. What do you think will happen as you get more popular? Say a thousand subs. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I mean, hopefully, hopefully those thousand, if I do get a thousand eventually, um, consistently watch my videos, and hopefully that just keeps my channel growing and and all that stuff because that's all you can really hope for, right? That you'll keep you'll keep gaining momentum and keep moving forward. So. What do you think will happen as I get more popular? I don't know. I just hope people keep watching my videos and that I hope my, my channel will grow. And, you know, hopefully, maybe, maybe I'll, it'll eventually evolve into uh, a possible partnership because, um, you know, I'll, <laughs> you probably all know from my Mario Hack videos how much I, uh, I don't really enjoy my job. Um, you know, I, I enjoy working with the people there. Um, the job is not fun, though. And, you know... Even if I didn't get rid of the job completely, if this could become, like, my second job, or, hell, this could be my primary job, and the job that I have now would be my secondary job, um, you know, that would be great, because then I could do, I could do stuff that, uh, 
that I actually enjoy and, and get paid for it because that's who doesn't want to do that honestly um, but what do you think will happen as you get more popular I, I would say I would hope that my channel would uh, keep growing and possibly evolve into a uh, partnership with YouTube so whoa we're getting some frame lag going on. I have no idea what's going on in the background. Come on, seriously? Why is my backspace key not working? There we go. Alright. Wow. That... That kind of had to buff itself out. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why my keyboard isn't accepting some of my inputs. It's making me look a lot stupider. A lot dumber. Derping it up. Like that, I double pressed E and it didn't do it. Well, I can't spell today. <laughs> Great. Are you kidding me? Okay. Maybe I'm just typing too fast or something, but that that's pretty much why that's pretty much what I want. Hope that my channel keeps growing and possibly gain a partnership. Close. Thank you. Jesus. I don't know what is going on in the background, but something is going on. What's a hobby other than video games that you do? Other than video games? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. I spend I spend a good majority of my time, my free time, playing video games. And besides video games, I mean, I... I like, uh, well, you know, who doesn't love technology? I'm usually always on Netflix watching uh, watching shows um, like Stargate, Doctor Who, um, Power Rangers, which actually every single episode of Power Rangers um, to date so far has just been put up on Instant Q a couple days ago. Amazing. It's just, uh, it's, it's crazy. Um, I haven't been to the movies in a while. I kind of kind of miss doing that stuff, but, um, you know, a hobby that I guess I could say that I used to do that I wish I could get back into is, um, is, like, camping and, like, going outdoors. I love the outdoors. Um, you know, if there's a technological collapse and, you know, all we had was to go outside, hey, I, I would love to go outside. I love being outside, but, um, you know, now that, now that we have all this technology, I've been more, more indoors, so, um, you know, what's a hobby other than video games that you do? Um, this question is... Well, I don't know if I can really answer, answer it, but I'd like to say that if I could get back into it, it would be uh, kind of like hiking and, and camping. Outdoorsy stuff. Outdoorsy stuff. So that's what I'm going to put down. Out, outdoorsy stuff. There we go. Outdoorsy stuff. <laughs> Making up my own words. Great. Awesome. Man. You know, I think it's Fraps. You know, that could be it. Fraps is probably, like, lagging like a biatch, and I have no idea why. Anyway. So that, those were questions from Blatty Now. Thank you. Thank you, as always. And now we're going to move on to questions from Red Falcon Games. He had a lot. He had a lot, so... <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Um... Space, please? Space. Thank you. What is your favorite food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Um... Good question. 
I don't usually eat breakfast. Um, I don't know a lot of people that do, actually, but uh, my favorite thing to eat for breakfast, if I could, would be um, Eggs Benedict. I've actually gotten accustomed to uh, having that more when I go out to eat breakfast, and it's so good, especially with the holiday sauce. Oh, man. Amazing. So, we'll put that down for breakfast. The breakfast. Help if I could spell. <laughs> uh, lunch. Lunch is kind of a toss-up. Um, what do I usually have for lunch? I'm, I spend a lot of my lunches at work. So I usually have stuff that's there or uh, stuff that's from the food court. So, lunch, I usually have either a... Would help if I didn't have frame lag. Damn it. Come on. Are you serious? You're gonna type in the H? Thank you. Well, this isn't annoying at all. <laughs> Yeah, I have to type extra slow for some reason. I usually like to have a sandwich that I either usually buy from the cafe that I, I work at because I get a I get a, I get a discount off of our food, like 50%. Or I usually go into the food court and have like a hamburger. Um, you know, like a hamburger and fries and stuff like that because we've got like McDonald's, we've got Chick-fil-A, um, all that stuff. So that that's usually good. Or um, so uh, we also have uh, we also have two sandwich places. We have Subway, and we also have um, Charlie's, which is like grilled sandwiches or grilled subs. It's really good. Um, I usually I usually like that stuff. So um, yeah, so that's lunch and dinner. Dinner I usually I usually have. Uh, Wow, I have a lot of stuff for dinner, actually. I have a lot of stuff for dinner. What's my favorite, though? I like, uh, I love, I love Chinese food. Um, I absolutely love Chinese food. Chinese food is for the win. It is FTW. Chinese food, it's really good. I usually like, uh, sweet and sour chicken. Uh, sweet and sour chicken is uh, probably my favorite thing to have. I usually don't have it too often, but um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that. So there we go. We got that done, and let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go. What is your favorite console, and what's my favorite game? Um, my favorite console. It's probably it's going to be a pretty cliche answer. But um, my favorite console is actually the Super Nintendo. Favorite console is the Super Nintendo, and um, you know that's where a lot of my love for video games kind of evolved. Um, if you couldn't tell by a lot of the Mario stuff that I do, um, especially. Especially since all the Mario hacks are Super Mario World, which is probably my favorite game on the Super Nintendo, hands down. Um, yeah, amazing stuff. Uh, Super Nintendo, it had a it had a pretty long lifespan uh, for a console, and people are still playing, you know, those games today. A lot of a lot of the old stuff is still be still being played. So Super Nintendo, definitely my favorite. Um, I th I'm pretty sure I got it like maybe a year after it came out. That's that's usually how it works with me when I get consoles. I usually get consoles a year after they come out, um, and and usually at the time it's because I can't afford it, um, which is still the case today. Um, I usually can't afford consoles when they first come out, but also I usually don't want to buy first generation stuff because it has the tendency to to break to break easily because it's just coming off the line and you know, you usually run into a lot of problems. You don't get the opportunity to play first-party titles um, right away, which kind of sucks, but um, 
You know, that's that's my whole thing with that. So, um, my favorite console is the Super Nintendo. Uh, my favorite game... I'm guessing uh, he's talking about my favorite game ever. Uh, and not just pertaining to the, the Super Mario question. Or the... Uh, the console question. <laughs> Super Mario question. My favorite game of all time. Now that... Um, you know, I just said it could possibly be uh, Super Mario World. And... It is a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. Um, but my favorite game of all time, which is going to be another another cliche uh, cliche answer, is if I could get my computer to type. Um. Okay. It is a Mario game. It is uh it is a Mario game, so don't be don't be surprised at that, I guess. Um Okay, there is some major frame lag issues. This is so annoying. Come on. What is going on in the background? What is going on? No. Come on. Yeah. Well. Nope. <laughs> it's Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, I'm sure it's a favorite for a lot of people. It's um, it's a great title. Uh, definitely the best Mario game on the NES. Um, the most evolved form of the game on the NES, being as it was, I think, the last uh, major title um, or in the Mario series for the NES and it's just great like a lot of great ideas came out of Super Mario Brothers 3 like uh, the Tanuki suit my favorite I love that thing um, or just the you know the raccoon thing I'm a Bob that's that's just a great idea in general and um, Super Mario Brothers 3 it's amazing like it's a it's a decently long game, and it's pretty difficult too. Like, um, like the first two worlds aren't bad, but then when you get to World Three, oh man, I hate World Three. If I get a chance, I skip World Three, um, because I usually have like two two warp whistles by then, so I'm like, fuck World Three, and then I just move on. But, um, yeah, Super Mario Brothers Three. Um, I don't really need to go into detail about that. It is, it's an amazing game, and if you haven't had the chance to play it, which I'm sure a lot of you have played it. Um, definitely check it out. It's really good. It's uh, it's really good. So, all right. Moving on. Thoughts on the Wii U. This is this one I like. I like this a lot. I like the other questions a lot too. But uh, thoughts on the Wii U. Um, I wasn't really sure at first when the Nintendo when Nintendo uh, did their little press conference shindig and they're like. Oh, the Wii U, and I'm like, what the hell is the Wii U? Like, that sounds stupid. And uh, it's still kind. It still sounds stupid to me. Um, they could call it something else, like the Revolution. Hey, that would be great. Um, thoughts on the Wii U, though? Um, I think this is going to be fantastic. You know, um, it's going to be able to push 1080p. Um, they have. I, I love the idea of the interactive tablet. That's really cool. Um, Nintendo, you know, say what you will about Nintendo, but they're they're usually always uh, kind of pushing. Um, they're doing unique things with technology, and it's uh, it's really nice. And the fact that they've caught up to the Xbox 360 and PS3 graphical wise, um, that's going to be something something to behold. That's going to be great. And they're going to have you know all these titles that are usually only available on those two um, available to them like uh, Dark Siders 2. Ninja Guy in three Ghost Recon. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty crazy. It's gonna be insane and um I can't wait, honestly. I can't wait. I hope they change the name, but I can't wait. It's gonna be it's gonna be something else, you know. And um it's kinda funny how you know, Nintendo they, they came out with a Wii and then it wasn't as good, like graphical wise, but it had motion control. It was finicky. It still is kinda finicky. As I take a sip of water because I'm dying. 
But now that they've got motion control kind of down, now they're pushing for the graphics, which, you know, they're kind of late on. But it's kind of funny how Nintendo kind of like is pushing for graphics now and Microsoft and Sony are pushing for motion control. Like they they kind of flip-flopped. And, um, you know, for Sony and Microsoft, hey, you know, they might be doing some interesting things with uh, motion control. They might even be doing some things that are better than, than Nintendo on that front. But at this point, no one really cares. Sorry, guys. I mean, it, it, you know, this is just one guy's opinion. But at this point in the game, it's really like who gives a damn, you know. Uh, Nintendo did it. Um, that's what they're known for, pretty much. Um, it's great that you have the connect and the move, but I don't really see a lot of clout behind it, and uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's just not uh, something that I can see working for Microsoft and and Sony as well as Nintendo. So thoughts on the Wii U? Oh man, here's that frame lag. I really hate the frame lag. <laughs> this is killing me. Basically, sum it, out, sum it up, it's going to be a unique experience. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they do good with it. <laughs> hopefully they do good. All right. And the final round of questions, which is a lot, so I put a lot on the sign. <laughs> um, all right. Whoa. <laughs> Where do I work? I work at Barnes & Noble. Yes, I know. Get out of your system now and just go ahead and laugh. <laughs> but uh, that's where I work. I work in the I work in the cafe. So um, yep. That's where I work. I make uh, make coffee for people, and people piss me off. So <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty much what I do. That's what I do. I serve people coffee and listen to stupid questions all day. And facepalm myself into a wall all the time. All the freaking time. <laughs> More times than I'd like to count. More times than I could count on my hands and my feet. It's just ridiculous. Yep. So how old am I? I am 25. I just turned 25 um, on the 8th of June. Uh, that was my birthday, so I'm 25. I am a quarter century old. I'm a quarter century old. It's amazing. Um, yep. Getting up there. <laughs> Getting up there for sure. Do I like turtles? If so, why? Yes, I love turtles. I love turtles, um, but I only like I only like Ninja Turtles. They have to. They have to be Ninja Turtles. If they're uh, if they're not uh, Ninja Turtles, then uh, you know it's not good. Won't be able to keep up with me, and they won't. Uh, they won't enjoy my company because I like to eat pizza, and they won't be doing cool uh, cool flip kicks and all that stuff. They won't be wielding weapons. So I do like turtles. Yep. But. Damn it. Wow. Okay. Space, please. There we go. Yep, but only of the ninja variety. Quite. All right. What is your nationality? I'm Japanese. Um, I'm Japanese. I'm Japanese. Yep. 
100% Japanese. 100% pure Japanese. That's uh, that's all I am. Just just one race. I don't know if that's disappointing, but <laughs> I'm Japanese. I'm Asian. So there you go. American born. American born Japanese. So hopefully that uh, that was good. <laughs> Where do you go on vacation if you do? This is kind of a broad topic. Um, I love to travel. I hate traveling by plane, though. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't mind traveling by boat, and I w I love. I absolutely love to travel by car. Like if there was a road that went all the way around the world, hey, I'd be on it. I would be on that shit. I love it. It's great. Um, where do you go on vacation if you do? I would love to go to either the UK or if I could get the slash in there, there we go. Come on. Or Europe. Uh, the UK or Europe. I've been in Japan already. Um, I would love to see Asia again, but since I've already been to a part of Asia, I would, um, you know, we're going to discount that for now. But uh, I would love to go um, to the UK and or Europe. Um, those countries are awesome. Um, or those, yeah. Th those places are awesome. There's a lot of stuff to see, and especially the food. Oh, my God, the food. Man, that, that stuff is going to be crazy. I love foreign food. Oh man, any kind of food, like, you know, sign me up. If it looks good, if it smells good, if it just sounds interesting, like it's got an interesting name, hey man, I'm all for it. Hook me up. That's that's what I'm all about, so. Yeah, definitely in the UK or Europe. And or Europe, so. So thank you, Red Falcon. Red Falcon Game. Games. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much. Oh, wow, where's the frame lag? Oh, there's the frame lag. I spoke too soon. All right, and the next set of questions, or the last set of questions, are from The Mushy, or Mushy Gaming. So here we go. Here we goes. What's your favorite... Whoa. <laughs> What's your favorite PS3, PS2, Wii, and Xbox game? Good question. Uh, PS3, I haven't played a whole lot of. I'm gonna be honest, I have it, but um, I usually don't play it that much. There's not a there's not a whole lot that I do on the PS3. Um, for PS3, though, um, it's definitely it's definitely Scott Pilgrim. Um, Yes, I know it's a downloadable title, but um, it's great, man. That that game is nostalgic. It takes it takes references from all kinds of video games. It has like that sixteen that sixteen bit feel. It's got like you know eight bit music in it. Um, if you're a gamer, that's a game that you're gonna love. You're gonna love the shit out of it, especially if you're an old school gamer like myself. Um, now, when I say old school, I mean from the Nintendo era, not like old school, old school, where it's like, oh, we have the Commodore 64 and shit, man, eh, whatever. Um, yeah, but uh, PS3 is definitely Scott Pilgrim. Um, PS2, PS2, that's a good, um, that's another good question. PS2, I played a lot of PS2 titles in my day, and I would have to say it's definitely... Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, that is a magnificent title. If you haven't played it, um, check it out. If you love Disney and you love Squaresoft, The Marriage of the Two is just amazing. It's amazing. It's got all. It's all got all the like cartoony lightheartedness of Disney, um, and the lore of Disney even intertwined with uh, crazy like crazy storytelling by. Uh, by the final by the Final Fantasy team, um, it's got brilliant music. Um, the visuals are are just they're gorgeous. And uh, you know I could go on and on about Kingdom Hearts 2, but uh, for PS2 it would be Kingdom Hearts 2. For the Wii, um, the Wii, hmm, 
Hmm, the Wii. Yeah, this one's pretty obvious. This one's pretty pretty obvious. It's definitely Smash Brawl. And I've played countless hours on that. I haven't played it so much anymore, but when it first came out, I played for like months. I had to play it every day. I had to fight my friends every day. It was um it's crazy and it's a it's a crazy good game. Um definitely my favorite. I, I love all Smash titles. Um and Brawl Brawl definitely did a lot of stuff and it was really good. Um I'm pretty sure I don't really need to go into detail about about Smash Brawl. It's great. Um, so, yep, Smash Brawl for the week. And for the Xbox, I'm not sure if he's talking about the original Xbox or 360. I'm just going to go with 360. Um, if that's not your intention, Mushy, I'm sorry. But um, for 360, um, hmm. Yeah, for, three si for 360, I hope to do a Let's Play of this one one day. Um, once I get an HD capture card. But it's Bayonetta. Um, Bayonetta is ridiculous. Oh my god, it's brilliant. From the guys that made Double May Cry. Um, it's, uh, it's ridiculously over the top. It's very stylish. And it's very, um, it's very hypersexual in its nature for the, uh, portrayal of its female, um, characters. It's ridiculous. It's su such a hilarious game to play. And it's very, um, it's challenging, but it's not to the point of frustration. It's fun challenging, and it's very, it's very fast-paced, and, um, very good. It's very good. It's a very it's very basic while not being basic if you get me kind of, but um it's very very it's very stylish and I love it. I love games that are just way over the top with uh with their action and their humor and all that stuff. So, Bayonetta for the 360 definitely uh, my favorite. All right. Moving on. How did I find out about Mario Hacks? Simply put, Seamus. Um, SSOHPKC. I had seen stuff um, a while ago before I saw Seamus, and I didn't know that was a Mario Hack, so I had no idea. When I stumbled upon Seamus' channel and saw him doing Kaizo 2, um, which was the first thing that I saw him do as I as I dressed earlier in the in the Q&A, when I first saw him doing Kaizo 2, I was dying. Like, I was I was dying. Like, I couldn't breathe. It was just funny seeing him, you know, just run into all these ridiculous problems over and over again. And um, it just evolved from there. I just, from there, I watched his entire playthrough of Kaizo 2. I went back and watched um, the first Kaizo. And then I just watched him do everything else, you know, up on up on through, you know, some of the Mario hacks I can remember off the top of my head, um, an SMW production, uh, Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom, Luigi's Adventure 3, oh man, Luigi's Adventure 3, um, Brutal Mario, uh, Super Pika Land, which he actually just finished, it was, it was really good, uh, Super Mario World, Stardust Dragon 2011, um, yeah, he's done a lot, and they're all really entertaining. They're really fun, and um, you know that was my—he was my inspiration, SSOHPKC, and um, you know I have him to thank for this because I did—I uh, wouldn't have done this, and I wouldn't have gotten to know some of you guys and all that jazz with uh, without it. So I'm glad I got into this. This is a fun thing to do. I love doing Mario hacks, even though um, it gets pretty frustrating, but. Uh, in my frustration, I'm having a lot of fun, guys. So never think that I'm just, like, you know, raging and, like, I'm going to break a window or something. Well, I might. You never know. But I'm I'm usually having fun. So this one is pretty simple. Yep. That's for damn sure. <laughs> and the final bout of questions from the Mushy, or from Mushy, is what do you do in your free time? Is it like when you come back from work, you gotta record, and then you have almost no time, or is it that you have quite some free time, and what do you do with it? Um, well, that really depends. Um, in my free time, I definitely record videos. Um, I record videos for you guys, I record videos for other channels. 
Um, depending on what I have to do that day, it usually takes up a good majority of my time. Um, but I don't mind it. You know, I love doing it. I wouldn't keep. I wouldn't have like you know almost 200 videos if I didn't enjoy doing what I do. So it's that. Um, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes I have to record a lot or not so much. It really depends on the day. Um, you know, I usually do stuff for LPR's Realm. I'm a director on Sniper Central Studios. Um, I did stuff for uh, the Nintendo Feedback Crew. Um, man, what else? Um, I'm doing stuff for Toad Army. So, um, you know, in between that, I'm also trying to submit stuff to... Machinima, um, they haven't gotten back to me yet. I don't, you know, I would like them to, but they've got so many submissions and stuff that it, it's pretty, you know, I'm not offended when I don't get a reply because it usually says um, on their on their Facebook thing that they updated a little while ago, like a couple days ago actually, that if you don't hear it from them in about a month, um, you know, they're probably not going to take it by then, so... Um, you know, you can't really be offended by stuff like that. Um, you just have to keep your chin up and keep trying. So, when I get back from work, I usually end up recording. Usually. Um, you know, unless I... Unless my schedule's changed. Because usually now I'm opening in the morning, so I don't usually have a chance to record until I get back. But if I'm closing, I'll usually record in the morning and then get that up before work. Um... You know, so it really depends, but um, most of the time I'm recording, so that's where a lot of my free time goes. Um, when I'm not doing stuff like that, I'm usually either um, spending time with my girlfriend, or I'm or I'm on like you know Netflix, um, watching my shows, or I'm playing or I'm playing Black Ops and raging at the TV, or um, I'm just doing stuff like that. Like I, I'm getting back into Minecraft. I'm gonna try and do something with that. Um, and obviously I'm watching other people's videos, like I'm watching uh, Seamus' videos, um, Sly Fox, Nova, um, Swifty, I'm watching, uh, watching his stuff, um, and then I'm watching all the stuff that people, you know, I'm, that I'm friends with, um, I'm watching Glitch's stuff, um, Mushy's stuff. Um, I try to keep up with everyone that I'm subscribed to. Um, you know, usually if you put... If I don't mention you, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to not mention you, but... Basically, if I subscribe to you, I usually try to watch your stuff. And I'm not subscribed to a whole lot of people. I'm subscribed to about, like, 70-something people. And that's a lot of videos. Especially, um, especially with Seamus, Nova, um, Sly, and Swifty. Um, they've, they upload a couple videos a day, so I'm usually watching them, and then everyone else usually, um, you know, they upload about a video a day, and I, I try to watch those too. If not, I'll get them, I'll get to them another day. Um, and I'll usually leave a like or a comment or something like that, um, but, you know, I am watching, I'm usually watching everyone's stuff, so when I'm not, when I'm in between recording videos and, uh, you know, just playing video games for fun, and watching my my shows, I'm usually watching a lot of a lot of people on YouTube. I'm trying to watch my, all my friends' stuff and all my sub stuff, so um, I'm usually doing that. So here we go. Um, That pretty much sums it up. Um, yeah, with my free time, when I'm not recording, I usually either watch TV, video games, I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube a lot. Um, usually, when I get a comment or uh, or a message or something, I usually respond to it right away. And I, I have the luxury of doing that. Um, but that's what I usually do. Um, if I'm not either watching TV, 
I'm not playing video games or I'm not on YouTube. I'm usually spending time with my girlfriend. Um, you know, I love her very much, and uh, I would hope that she loves me back just as much, but um, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So, I think with that, um, you know, that kind of, we're kind of at a, kind of at a close here. That was, uh, that was my 100, uh, sub special. I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm not keeping track, but, um, yeah, that was my 100 sub special, guys. Um, you know, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing to me. I appreciate it. I appreciate any support that I can get. Thanks for liking my videos. And I'm glad that I'm able to entertain you. So, um, you know, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the special when it's uploaded. Um, you know, and thanks. And I hope to bring you more great stuff in the future. So, this is it, guys. That's my 100, 100 sub special. Uh, this is TechnoSid uh, saying thank you, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys. And this will be uploaded in just a little bit. All right, see ya.